Hundreds of thousands of Canadians are affected by different types of fraud each year, including identity theft and phishing. Reports from Quebec doubled from nearly 10,500 in 2021 to over 20,000 in 2022. Quebec's Minister of Cybersecurity thinks creating a digital identity for each citizen may not only facilitate access to public services, but also reduce the risk of fraud. But is it the answer? My goal is to make the uh, national identity the only way to identify ourselves, even in the real world, than in the digital world. A digital identity is a virtual representation of who you are as a citizen. You may already use online government services like Revenu Quebec or the SAAQ, the Auto Insurance Board. We're in a transition, moving from ClickSeeker and other authentication system, uh, which represent 200 different ways to identify yourself, which is too much. Besides, the cyber security minister thinks Quebecers reveal too much personal information in their daily lives. When you show your ID card, you show your birthday, you show your name, your first name, uh, your address. Moving in the digital world increase security, increase the control you have on what information you show. The province's digital identity would replace the way you access all public services, including your driver's license and your health insurance card. The minister originally planned to have the system in place for 2021. Now he is targeting 2028. The cybersecurity specialist agrees there is a need for simplified and streamlined access to public services. We're doing this to reduce a fraud, risk of fraud in the first place. There's a lot of different ways people can abuse paper processes and, and things that have to do with just physical identity um, by leveraging the trust that can be built into digital identification and identities. Um, it's already there to reduce risk. In November, Eric Kerr tabled Bill 82, which would give him the power to manage the digital identity program. Data will be centralized into a new register. And the bill is clear. The minister won't be able to use data for profiling purposes. I have a huge responsibility and I think we set the means to assume that responsibility. Pascal Fortin says there is something fundamental that needs to happen for the citizens to feel comfortable using this future digital identity. It's not just the virtual identity that needs to be constructed. It's building digital trust into the whole chain of what we use for identity. And that's a very positive thing. Michel Setlacoui, the official opposition critic, believes Quebec needs to undertake such a project. It's an important project for Quebecers. Digital identity, it needs to be done and we're not going to be standing in the way of progress. But However, she and her colleague Joël Arsenault have several questions. We want to make sure that the bill that is tabled right now is making it easy or easier for citizens to have access to services. Um, you know, we want it to be useful to the population. So basically, will this make my life easier? And this still needs to be explained to Quebecers. And the Parti Québécois is not convinced security incidents will be out of the way. How can the government make sure that it doesn't happen when it comes to giving everything you have, everything you own, everything you are in terms of identity to a government that uh, certainly um, will offer you a number of services, but how are the protections guaranteed before you go ahead with this project and where are the um, firewalls? Then there is the shadow of the government's last major digital transition, the chaotic launch of the Auto Insurance Board's online platform, SACLIC, in the winter of 2023. C'est vrai, ça a été un fiasco. Car admitted, it was a fiasco. For Michel Setlacoui, the cybersecurity minister is facing a test of credibility. In all honesty, he hasn't delivered much so far, so this is actually an opportunity for him to shine. So if I were him, 
I would communicate directly with the population, explain what my project is, why it's taking so long, why, I, why there have been changes along the way. And right now he has failed on all these fronts. In his quest to convince Quebecers about the need for this digital identity, Eric Kerr can refer to other countries that have already taken the lead, including Estonia, Finland or Singapore. And he'll probably insist that soon they'll see more and more examples around the globe. <laughs>